protecting and serving with four legs and a tail. They're police pooches, sprinting, sniffing, and serving alongside human handlers like Tucson Police Sergeant Brad Pelton. Right. They're much more than furry. They're fundamental to the force, Pelton says. Where we use one canine officer, we need 10 or 12 officers to cover the same amount of area. Valuable to cops and citizens. People love them and they want them protected, they want them uh, to be well cared for. That's precisely why people give money to the Tucson Police Foundation, says Executive Director Rob Lemaster, so TPD can buy extra canine equipment. Bulletproof vests cost a minimum 600 bucks, protection with a price tag, so we'd want dogs to don them 24-7, right? The vests are primarily used in special occasions where we're dealing with a armed suspect that's maybe holed up inside of a building. Why not always wear them? Probably the biggest downfall of the vest is the fact that the dogs don't cool themselves the way that humans cool themselves. And they get overheated, and sometimes our scouts will last up to an hour, hour and a half. And with the vest on, we can't, the dogs can't make it that long. And how about Ivan, the TPD canine shot and killed in December? No, Ivan was not wearing a vest. Uh, it was in one of those dynamic, fast-moving situations where it, putting the vest on him would have probably allowed the suspect to escape. Pelton says it's unclear if a vest could have saved Ivan, who was shot in the shoulder. Still, the Kevlar's there, ready for the pooches, risking their lives for hours. They've become part of TPD's family, and uh, if we're protecting the, the officers out on the beat, we need to protect those canine officers as well. Kevin Keene, Kega Nunn on your side.